future is defined as a period of time that follows the moment of speaking or writing. The future might be near, it also might be far, maybe even before I finish the poem that I'm reciting. I remember the other day I've tried to imagine what would my future be like. I mean, just imagine. So I imagine myself as a successful man, having a better life than the one that's on my hand, having like a million dollar bank account to sweet the land maybe. And who knows, I won't be living in Sudan. So I've tried to imagine a brighter future for my country, but so far it seems like the future isn't clear. Even though we're living in the 21st century, but in South Sudan they're still living in fear of being shot dead by an unknown gunman at night. The fear of being a collateral damage in a fight between some ethnic groups or maybe between the troops. The fear of being the next victims of the genocide. The fear of being burned inside their houses alive. The fear of being killed and cut into many different pieces. Look, I'm not talking about the horror movie, but countries like a jigsaw puzzle. No one to pick the pieces. Look, I've tried real hard to be optimistic, but the only problem is I'm too realistic because I can see the world being agonistic in the military industry and I see the terroristic behaviors and mentality spreading in peaceful district and I see we're being cruel instead of being euphemistic. I see we're being cruel instead of being euphemistic. We all wish to have a brighter future, but the future is an outcome of a present. I mean, you can't live your whole life as a sinner, then expecting to live an afterlife in the heaven. The point I'm trying to make is, it's up to you and me to work, to have a better future for you and me. To have a better future. I hope with less sorrow. So let's work today to have a better tomorrow. Look. To change the world, we don't need a superhero, but the world change always start with the person in your mirror.